We know nothing of man. Far too little. His psyche should be studied. You have before you something precious, something beyond measure and beyond value, a cosmic gift, something that perhaps you are not fully appreciating, fully recognizing or fully realizing. What is this mysterious thing? It is your very own life. But what is your life? You stumble through the days, the days become months, the months become years, and the very currency of your existence dwindles with each passing hour. The quicksand of endless habits and routines begins to suffocate the very essence of you, with little space to breathe, let alone flourish. Enter Carl Jung, a brilliant mind who not only turned the world of psychology on its head, but left behind a blueprint, a roadmap on how to escape the hamster wheel of monotony and transform our lives into something truly meaningful. Jung, a master of thought, had absolute clarity on what really matters. He didn't just develop impressive theories, but created a set of tools with which to examine our own lives and transform them into something not just lived, but truly experienced. He showed us how to step out of the shadow of our own doubts and fears and discover the light of our true nature. So how does this work? Well, Jung's ideas are all about recognizing the true self, peering into those dark corners and learning how to captain one's own life rather than being swept away by the currents of the everyday. So join me on a journey into the fascinating world of Carl Jung and discover how to develop more meaning, more fulfillment, and more joy. Are you ready to take control of your life? Let's get started. I am. I am what I am. Have you ever considered what's actually contained within you? Jung's conviction was that each of us carries within a huge potential. A potential that's just waiting to be discovered and exposed in all its glory. But there's a catch. Before this potential can be liberated, we must navigate the treacherous path of fear and self-doubt. It's the adventure of a lifetime. Picture, if you will, a large mirror before you, reflecting not just your exterior, but also your innermost being. The mirror reveals to you everything, your dreams, your aspirations, but also your doubts and fears. This first step on the path to self-discovery demands that you recognize and accept yourself in all your complexity. And whilst this can be intimidating, it is at the same time incredibly liberating. Jung didn't just invite us to recognize ourselves, he showed us a way to do it. It's about questioning yourself, embracing challenge and absolute honesty. It's about facing fears and relating to them as guides rather than enemies. Fear, when used in this way, can be used as a catalyst for change and growth. As you walk this path, you discover not just who you really are, but also what you really want. You become the director of your life, rather than passively reacting to changing circumstances. We are the origin of all coming evil. There is an old Japanese tale that recounts the story of a samurai who was known for his warlike nature. One day, the samurai challenged a Zen master to explain the meaning of heaven and hell. The monk replied with disdain, You are nobody but a mere mortal. I cannot waste my time with someone like you. With his ego hurt, the samurai angrily drew his sword, screaming, I could kill you for your insolence. This, said the monk calmly, is hell. Startled, realizing how the teacher's insight was revealing the nature of the rage that had consumed him, the samurai calmed down, sheathed the sword, and bowed, thanking the monk for his profound knowledge. And this, said the monk, is heaven. We all have parts of ourselves that we'd rather ignore. Jung points out that each of us carries a shadow, a dark and secret place within, packed with everything we'd rather not be or fear to be. Jung challenges us to face our shadow and confront its very nature. When we react with unexpected anger or sadness, we can be sure that the shadow is at work. The darker parts of our personality are not easy to face, and we usually try to hide them from ourselves and others. Jung teaches us that these shadow aspects are just as much a part of us as the qualities we prefer to present to the world. Imagine the sense of freedom when you no longer have to hide the darker parts of your being. Embracing the shadow allows for a deeper understanding and leads us to a state of inner harmony. 
you will begin to live your life with greater compassion and acceptance of both yourself and others. It's time to view the shadow not as an enemy, but as an ally pushing us onwards to discover the transformative secrets that lie within. This sudden coming to consciousness. Do you ever feel that you are so much more than the sum of your experiences? Well, Jung has an explanation for this. He calls it individuation. The process is akin to finding your inner compass on the voyage to the true self. It's not just about finding yourself, but actively shaping it. We are not mere puppets of our past, but active creators in our own lives. Imagine a sculptor facing some formless clay. With each shaping of the hands, something unique and purposeful emerges. And so it is with individuation. You are your very own sculptor, shaping the very clay of the self using your experience, values and aspirations. Individuation requires taking control of your life as you decide the aspects of your personality that you wish to alter. It requires courage and honesty as you recognize your weaknesses and celebrate your strengths. Live on to look forward to the next day. Carl Jung, a visionary in the world of psychology, left us with a fundamental truth. The secret to a fulfilled life lies in finding purpose. It's not about fame, wealth, or external recognition. Rather, it's all about the quest for a deeper meaning in our existence, a connection that goes far beyond the material. Imagine your life as a book and you as the author. Each day as you write a new page, ask yourself, am I writing a story that's just about external successes or one that's shaped by inner values and beliefs? Jung teaches us that true fulfillment lies in the latter. It's about giving your life a direction that aligns with your true self. This means tuning into yourself and finding out what really matters to you. What makes your heart beat faster? What makes you feel truly alive? It's this inner compass that guides you to a meaningful life. It's not about what society expects of you, but what you expect of yourself. You know that you are not identical with the way in which you appear. Carl Jung left us a legacy that is as powerful and relevant today as it was during his lifetime. His message is clear and straightforward. We must not cast our lives into the shadows of fear, doubt, and self-limitation. Instead, we should have the courage to walk our own unique path, to recognize, accept, and live a life that is truly our own. Jung encourages us to take on the role of the architect of our lives. It's not about being guided by prefabricated plans or the expectations of others. Instead, we should write our own script, define our own values, and shape our lives according to these standards. This process requires courage, as it means facing the unknown depths of our own self and sometimes swimming against the tide. By fully realizing our own potential, we offer the world something unique and valuable. Each of us has something special to offer. And when we discover and utilize this treasure within us, we enrich not only our own lives, but also those of the people around us. Carl Jung's teachings are an invitation to go beyond the boundaries of the ordinary and lead a life full of authenticity, self-realization, and deep meaning. It's an invitation we should accept. So stop being a spectator and start creating a life to love.